The case originated as an Establishment Clause claim concerning the presence of a Latin cross in the Mojave Preserve on federal land. The cross, or a cross, has been there since about 1934. Mr. Buono is a, a retired National Park Service employee. He's a veteran and a very observant Catholic. He regularly visits the preserve and he objects to the government's uh, uh, appropriation of his religious symbol and in fact is so troubled by what the government has done here that he does he makes goes out of his way to avoid driving down the road where this cr large cross really o prominently overhangs the road um, as you drive through the preserve because he, he, do he doesn't want to see it. The government is in fact saying Mr. Buono lacks standing. Uh, they make a couple of arguments. One is, well, he's Catholic. It's perfectly understandable that a Catholic can object to a cross and the government's uh, sponsorship of that symbol. But even though the government is putting up their symbol, um, it may very well say, I don't want the government appropriating my symbol for a couple of reasons. One, I think that these are issues that of religion is an issue of voluntary choice. I don't want the government sponsoring my religion. It goes back to the history of the Establishment Clause. It wasn't just religions who said, we think the government is going to favor somebody else. They were people who said, we don't want the government's hand in our religion, and religion's a matter of private choice, and in fact, we believe that government favoritism of religion corrupts that religion. Some people, I think, have tried to pose this case as the ACLU versus the veterans, and there are a large number of veterans organizations that have come in and supported the government's position. On the flip side, there are a number of amicus briefs that have come in on our side. As you can imagine, what the Jewish War veterans and the Muslim Public Affairs Council have said, they've said, there were there have always been large numbers of veterans of our faith in the military and uh, to take a religious symbol that basically means and signifies that Jesus is the Son of God and that he died to redeem us from, from he redeem mankind for from its sins is not a way that you can honor the sacrifice of us it's not our religious symbol it's not what we believe and to pretend that you can say this honors all of you this honors all veterans when it is the symbol uh, the preeminent symbol of Christianity is is, is not something that the government should be doing. It should be honoring all veterans, not some veterans. So this is not a case about veterans versus the ACLU, but two very different views about how, uh, how veterans should be honored and the kind of message that, that, that government should send. This is actually quite a complicated case because it's not about uh, whether the cross violates the Establishment Clause, but on the merits, it's a question of whether the remedy that, or the, what the government is putting forth as a remedy to the violation actually does remedy the violation. And it provided that the Sandozes, um, and the, which is Henry Sandoz who put the last version of the cross up, who owns some private land within the boundaries of the preserve, would transfer approximately five acres to the federal government in exchange for the federal government giving about the one acre of land on which the cross sat to the VFW. We challenge that um, as really not a, a, a serious and realistic effort to try to remedy the Establishment Clause violation. Um, and we made a number of arguments. We argued that at one level, one of the bases for the courts finding that there was an Establishment Clause violation was that the government had favored the Sandozes and their desire to put up this cross on government property while it had excluded all others who wanted to put up other religious symbols. And that you couldn't fix favoritism by arranging a transfer that in fact favored the very people who had been favored in the first instance. As this case is not about whether the cross violated the Establishment Clause in the first instance, that's been resolved. It is now a question of whether this is a proper remedy.